This is me chasing a fat turtle and completely missing the giant five foot southern stingray just to my right. It's a prime example of how truly awesome October's highlights have been. The more we dive, the more opportunities we have to capture unique encounters and rare animal sightings. While October's highlights appear to be skewed toward the northwestern sites like Arashi Beach, Tres Trapi, and Pedernales, the southern sites had a few outstanding moments as well. In retrospect, there is also an underlying food theme as five clips involve hunting or eating. Oh, and the pure diving team rescued a boat from the Outer Banks after a major storm. All this with me out for a week with an ear infection. Anyway, here's the standard spiel. These are the top 15 highlights. They include some animals we don't often see. We caught a few grazing and getting cleaned. And they're not ranked, just enumerated. Oh, and please subscribe. We have a small channel, but are hoping to grow. Tell your friends. Smiley face. This banded arm brittle star was a first time sighting for me. Unfortunately it looks like one of its arms is hurt, but it did find a hiding place. Keep your eyes on the left. We went to hole in the wall one night to try and catch some coral spawning when I accidentally caught this southern stargazer come out of its hiding place to gulp down a small fish and then burrow back into the sand. We were not as lucky with the coral spawning though. We have seen two slugs in Aruba so far. Last month's best of video included the warty sidegill slug. This one is called a lettuce sea slug because the ruffles look a bit like leaf lettuce. Diving the Pedernales, we saw this octopus combing the wreck for breakfast. It was focused much more on food than the divers and put on quite a color show. The northern sites are pretty reliable for turtle spawning as they graze the grassy bottom. Most tend to be camera shy, so this swim by was very nice. As shown in the opening, I almost missed this one. It was the biggest stingray we have ever seen. It appears to be about five or six feet across. Check out Leslie at the top of the frame for reference. You don't often see crab out during the day. This one was going to town with both claws. We watched this key worm eel methodically explore every crack and crevice between the rocks along the base of the rocky wall at Trace Trapi. Southern stingrays forage for food hiding in the sand by undulating their bodies, which creates a large cloud. Pro tip, anytime you see a cloud in the distance, try to check it out. Flamingo tongues hold a special place in my heart because it was a bonding point for Leslie and I when we started dating. We haven't seen too many here in Aruba, but they always bring a smile to my face, as does Leslie. We have seen a few scorpion fish, but this one had its mouth open a bit. As I got closer, I saw a little Peterson cleaner shrimp doing its thing. Check out how fast it gets out of there when the scorpion fish moves. I didn't know what these were until I looked them up in our reef ID guide. They're called boga. I was just so happy to see a large school of anything besides chromis. This tube-dwelling anemone was just beautiful. It looks like it was taken at night, but it was actually in about 50 feet of water on a cloudy day underneath a sizable section of the Antilla shipwreck. Right after we jumped in at Sponge Reef 2, we saw this jackknife fish swimming at the bottom in about 15 feet of water. This looks like it could be part of a mating aggregation of bearded fireworms. 
The surge was kind of strong and we were at the end of the dive, so I couldn't stick around that long. Still, it was very rare to see so many of these on top of one another. Here's a bonus clip. At Sponge Reef 2, this French angel circled me multiple times for almost a minute. 